guys, what's going on? Today I am on the boat with Victor and my dad. We are anchored in about 20 feet of water right now and we're trying to catch some ballyhoo for bait that we're going to take offshore. And so Victor's casting in some ballyhoo and my dad has a sabiki and he's trying to catch some blue runners, but he's mostly just catching ballyhoo too. <laughs> so we have some chum out right now and the ballyhoo are coming to the chum slick. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Blue runner? Uh-huh. That's what we're talking about. So here's the little blue runners that we're getting. And we got about maybe a dozen and a half ballyhoo right now in the live well. And a couple blue runners. I got them. You got them? Yeah. There we go. That's like a dozen. Yeah. Some good sized ones. There's Spanish Max jumping out everywhere. Man, if we had like little pilchards or something, yeah. it'd be game on. Oh, I just got hit on this thing. Huh? I just got hit on this thing. Oh, I'm on. There we go. On that uh, metal jig? Yeah. You really? Yeah. I'm using a little jig that a subscriber sent Vic. All right, I'm gonna flip them in the boat. Oh. Oh boy. Look at them blowing up in front of us. They're all Spanish mackerel. You can see them all jumping out of the water. Nice one. Mix on. There you go. What is it? A giant sugar fish. Victor just caught a giant triggerfish. Look at him blowing up in front of the boat. Well, Let's see, Vic. Oh my <laughs> God, that's giant. This is what I caught that first one on, but I think I'm gonna switch it up to something different. Yeah, oh yeah, there's minnows all around the boat. Wow, I think I got, uh, I got hit. There, there you go, Dad. Oh man. Nice. Oh, we got Brian hooked up. There you go, Dad. I have a loose drag. It was super loose. I tightened it, but maybe it's a kingfish this time. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Are you foul, foul hooked. hooked? Oh, yeah. He's foul hooked. That's why. Okay. Yep. Oh, mackerel. Oh, mackerel. Right in the skin. That's why it fought so good. It's foul hooked. Zero, too. Big cereal mackerel. So I got a Spanish, my dad got a Spanish and a Oops, cereal. Dad, let me see. Yeah. There you go, cool. Was my first one a Spanish or a cereal? Spanish. Yeah, the right here. The the They're in front of the boat, good. Here we go. Hold on, big wave. In front of the boat. I got like two hits on this thing. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Finally got one on this little bucktail jig. Good sized mackerel too, they're not yeah. closest. 
Okay, I'm gonna flip them in, so watch out. Look at that thing. Nice Spanish bags. Oh yeah. I had just said that I hadn't hooked anything on this bucktail yet, and then bam, as I was saying, I got, I got this. Sometimes you just gotta have a little patience. This is absolutely incredible. Those, that school's coming right at us, you see that? Off as soon as I cast it. Yeah, I just got cut off. Did you? Yeah. Okay. When you got a bonita? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice healthy bonita. Can we grab them? Um, no, I'll, fl I'll flip them in. It's so crazy how they won't eat these things because what they're eating is so small. I hope you guys can see how crazy this is. The water is so lit up. Mackerel jumping out of the water, Bonita jumping out of the water. Possibly tuna jumping out of the water. Absolutely insane. Victor just got a baby blackfin. Come on, baby. I want me a tuna. Look at how lit up it is. Awesome, Vic. Little sushi. Behind the boat, in front of the boat, to the side of the boat. Those are bonitas jumping out of the water over there. Oh, come on. Yeah, baby. I switched to the bigger spoon and worked. You got it back on? I don't know. He wants to go under the boat because the current's going. Okay, now we're over here. Foul hooked. A foul hooked blue runner? Are you kidding me? <laughs> there they are on that side of the boat. Yep, that's where my bait is. My bait's right there. Guarantee I'm gonna get hit. Oh, got hit. Didn't hook up though. They're on this side of the boat too. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> probably a bonita, but this time I don't think he's foul hooked. I mean, probably a blue runner. Blue runner. Don't even have to try, this thing's gonna catch one. There we go! <laughs> oh my goodness! Blue runner school, all around the boat.
boat. Every cast, Dad. Every cast. Yeah. All right, Jiggy. Make me proud. drift to something big. Biggest fish of the day. Possibly a big king. You see it? What is it? What was this on? A ballyhoo or a blue runner? On a big blue runner. A little bigger blue runner. You want to do it, Dad? Yeah, I'll do it. Looks like a big king. Jig. 
which I will link down in the description if you guys want to check them out. I literally got like three hits, probably ripped off one of my hooks during that time. Woohoo! Finally got one on my jig! <laughs> that thing fell out of its mouth and the tip of the hook just like went barely in my leg. So one of those other hits was one on a different hook and got off. Probably. I got cut off on the drop. I don't have a jig anymore. You just got cut off? I got cut off on the drop down. I was like, I didn't think I hit bottom yet. Okay. Got cut off. Clean cut. There goes my jig. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. At least I caught something on it. Got a little rough on the way home. <laughs> Can't even see through my glasses. Woo! Alright guys, so we are back home. We had an awesome day out there. The morning started out super calm and we knew it was going to pick up towards the end of the day because we have a cold front coming in and it definitely did. It picked up to like probably almost three to four on the way home so it was a little bit wet. But let me show you what we got here. We got a ton of different species today. If you didn't watch my last video, I caught a kingfish, a Spanish mackerel, and a Sierra mackerel and we caught all three of those again today. So here's my only Sierra that we got. We got a bunch of Spanish mackerel, a kingfish, Victor caught this giant kingfish. Victor also caught this little baby blackfin tuna, which I'm gonna make some sushi or some kind of poke or something out of this guy. I haven't really decided what I wanna do yet. And then I'm also going to make, I think, ceviche out of the Sierra mackerel. And we got a couple bonitas. Victor caught this massive trigger fish. Like, this guy is giant. Pretty cool. So Victor and I are gonna flape these fish, then I will meet you guys back in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight with the Sierra mackerel, I'm making a fish dip, fish salad. I guess you can call it whatever you want. And then with my tuna, I'm doing a, my version of a tuna tartare. And Vic, what are you doing? Ocean tally, which is also called trigger fish into a ceviche. It's got a really firm white meat, which is perfect for making ceviche. So we basically have just like three appetizers that we're throwing together tonight. So let's get to cooking. The first thing I did was add my Sierra mackerel fillets to a pot of boiling water. Once they became completely white inside and out, I took them off the heat and drained out the water. I then put my cooked fish into the refrigerator until I was ready to add the ingredients for my fish salad. The first step in prepping my tuna tartare is slicing up the blackfin tuna in about quarter inch sized pieces. Blackfins are an unregulated species so that's why we were able to keep such a small one. They also don't get as big as some other tuna species such as yellowfin or bluefin. Now the only vegetable I'm adding to this tuna dish is some sliced avocado, which technically avocado is a fruit, so I guess I should say the only fruit I'm adding is avocado. Now I'm going to add my ingredients for my tuna tartare. So I have some chopped up avocado in there. I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil. Some soy sauce. and some sriracha for a little bit of heat. And then a little bit of sesame seeds. Mix that up. Now to serve this, I'm going to place the tuna on top of some cucumber slices. Now the trick to this is you want thin slices, but not too thin to where you can't pick it up without the slice bending. This is a super fast, easy recipe for tuna that is one of my favorite. If you don't care for spicy things, you can skip out on the sriracha, or if you like heat, you can add some more, or even jalapenos. There are a lot of ways to make tuna tartare. I really just like to keep it simple like this. You can also serve it over rice for a more substantial meal. I actually planned to add scallions to this, but completely forgot till after we had ate the whole plate. But it was still great without it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my fork and just kind of mash up the fish so it kind of separates a little bit. Okay, 
For my wet ingredients, I'm going to add some mayonnaise and some sour cream. So I don't really know exactly how much wet ingredients I want to use, so I'm going to add a little bit, mix it up, and then determine what to add more of. So as I'm mixing in the wet ingredients, I'm also going to put in some salt and some black pepper. I have it to the consistency that I want, and now I'm going to add my veggies, which I have some cut up celery, some cut up red pepper, some cut up orange pepper, and some onion. Now I'm just gonna mix all this stuff up. So there's Vic's final ceviche. And what do you put in on top of Vic? So that's the ocean tally mixed with a bunch of veggies. And essentially, when you put the ocean tally and you cut it up into a bunch of little pieces, it's raw. And it cooks in the lime juice. The citric acid in the lime and the lemon cooks up the fish. And it's a really neat way, a really, really healthy way, and a really refreshing way to cook your fish. And then I'm serving the fish dip with some chips. These little dips, and then you just eat them like that. All right, so I told my family that I was going to be making some appetizers, but I'm pretty sure we basically are all full and it was basically like a dinner. Um, my favorite was probably the tuna. My second favorite was definitely Victor's ceviche. It was really good, packed with a lot of flavor. And then my third was the fish dip, but everything was really good and it turned out really well. But we had an awesome day out fishing and as you guys saw from the video, you can make a big elaborate meal out of something very, out of small fish. And don't forget that Victor's video will be linked down in the description so you can check out his ceviche recipe. Once you're watching this video, I probably just hit 50,000 subscribers. So I wanna give you guys a big thank you for all the support. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.